So that, that bed over there, we didn't, we kind of walked around that one. But we can go over there. And then we actually have some heater coils in the soil. And we didn't really plant too much. We mostly let the chickweed do its thing. And in the winter time when it's cold, nothing really grows, even if it's warm, if it doesn't have enough sunlight. So I put those screw-in fluorescent light bulbs and things have enough energy to actually grow. Right. So, and it's been really cold at, at night here, except the, the past couple of days. So I cover it with a blanket, you know, just to help hold a little bit of the warmth in. And the chickweed, it's pleasant. It goes good in salads. And it makes lots of seeds. Actually, in the middle here, I planted some radishes. So they should, should do all right. We, when we originally set up this area to grow things, we planted in January. We, well, yeah, it was like the middle of January. And before the middle of March, we were harvesting radishes, you know, that big around. And they were, radishes like cooler temperatures. Mm -hmm. So they are really moist and watery and not, you know, Sometimes in the summertime you plant radishes and they're just kind of full of air and not very good. So it's kind of fun to to be able to harvest radishes when everybody else is planting their radishes. So now you said something about a heat coil. Okay, so this is a thermostat and this is a heater cable and there's a piece of hardware cloth that I tie the, the coil to. It's like, let's say, 100 feet long, maybe longer than that. And you just go back and forth with it and you wanna tie it to a hardware cloth so it doesn't end up touching itself because then it could get too hot and maybe melt through and, and damage itself. And so that's actually down. I actually put a layer of perlite they see to put sand, I didn't have any sand, so I just put a layer of perlite down, and then I put the hardware cloth, and then I put our compost and dirt on top of that. And then there's a little thermostat. It just goes right into the soil here, and you set it up for whatever temperature you want, and it'll try to get it to that temperature. You know, obviously if it's nine degrees outside, it's not gonna get it to 75, right. but it's it does help to keep things from freezing, and if we had a, a better type of an insulation here, it would, you know, do even better. And we do have some, some really thick uh, row cover. And when it was cold last winter, I put that thick row cover over it. And it was, you know, with the lights, it was enough for it to grow and to keep from freezing. This winter, I just, pretty much cover it with a blanket at the top and stuff around the edge would actually, the chickweed actually would freeze and it, it mm -hmm. died around the edge. So now it's sort of coming back because it's been warmer for a while. But I mean, I can harvest a, you know, a green smoothie off of this every day right. and it grows back. You know, I mean, think if you're gonna do that with the box of lettuce, it's gonna cost you, you know, five bucks a day maybe. So, yeah, it does cost electricity, but you have more control over, you know, you can feed it minerals and, and all your good compost and stuff. And, yeah.